All right, I have a word for you, and the word is your miracle it is so close. You are so close to your miracle than before. No matter what situation you are going through, you may have hit a dead end, but God is about to rise you up. The lawyers, your lawyers, may have said that the case has been lost. Your doctors may have said that you will never get up. You will never recover. You will never walk. You will never be able to do certain activities. They may have said that some of your organs are, about to, are failing. But God is about to rise up that dead thing in your body. Your business could have been shattered. And it seemed as though you are left with nothing. You could, you, you may, you could be you making losses. You could have just been fired from work. Or you are looking for a job. And you do not know which company you should apply for. But God is about to give you a miracle. In the scripture, the wife of Abraham, Sarah, was barren. It had taken her long and she had no kid. She had no children. In, an, in, her, in her old age, she thought it was impossible. But God provided for a miracle. Hannah was barren. While she was mocked by Penina, she kept on believing in God. She kept on praying to God. But God rescued her. God opened up her womb. She had her first son, and the son that she had was a prophet. Not just a mere prophet, but a prophet of nations. This man, Samuel, Prophet Samuel, anointed kings. He anointed the first king of Israel, that was Saul. He anointed David. You are about to give birth to something that is good. You're about to give birth to a business. You're about to give birth to a child that will cause change to this generation, that will bring a change and impact to your society, to your area. God is about to lift you up. Nothing is impossible for God. What seems to be dead will rise up. Just like in the valley of dry bones. Now, for those that have not read the book of Ezekiel, is that Ezekiel was, was put in the valley of dry bones. And God asked, him, asked, asked, asked Ezekiel, Son of man, can these bones live again? Ezekiel responded, Lord, you alone know. Then God told Ezekiel to prophesy to the bones. Just like God is telling you, God could be telling you to, process, to prophesy to your bones, to prophesy to your business. Now when Ezekiel prophesied to the bones, the bones began to move from limb, from one part to another. There was life in the bones. There will be life in those dead things that you thought they were dead. You have ideas that you thought they were dead, that you, have, you had even buried. That you thought that they are impossible to come. But they are about to come to life. There is another scripture where Jesus was, in, an, was in, in a certain area. And news came to him that his friend, the one he loved, was sick. Then after some time, uh, Jesus told the people who had brought the news that Lazarus is asleep. Now what Jesus was saying, that Lazarus is dead. So it reached a time that Jesus had to come back to the place where Lazarus had died. So when Jesus arrived, uh, the people around him uh, said, Master, if you had been around, Lazarus would not have died. But Jesus told, continued, went on ahead to tell them, he is asleep. He will rise again. 
So to cut the long story short is that Jesus goes to the tomb of Lazarus. And what is amazing that the body of Lazarus had begun to decompose. It had begun to emit a smell, a bad smell. That was a sign that this man was truly dead. It was a sign that Lazarus was dead. To cut the long story short is that Jesus calls out Lazarus from the grave and Lazarus comes out. He comes out alive. Your situation, your business could be dead. There could be clear signs that your business is even decomposing. It could have emitted, it could be emitting a bad smell. But your business is about to rise up. Your marriage is about to rise up. Your situation is about to come to life. It is going to be a miracle in your family. God is about to rise you up. If you know that I'm speaking to you, go ahead and type. Go ahead and write. Man of God, you are speaking to me. Man of God, you have addressed my situation. Go ahead and type. I hear you, man of God. Whatever the enemy has done in your life will be wasted. In that, you will be, you, you'll be rising up any time from now. You are about to rise up. Some of you are rising up. Some of you are rising up. You are being lifted up in the realm of the spirit. You are being lifted up. You are, you, you, you are being lifted up to places that are high. To places that your adversaries will not reach. To places of significance. To places of importance. To places that the world will see you. They have seen you go through the storm. They have seen you go through the fire. But you are rising up. You have come up. You have been tested. And you will be recognized. I hope this word has been a blessing to you. You will receive your miracle. Go ahead and like this video. Share this video with somebody else. And until next time, be blessed.